the queen of barrels, the master of custom designs, the decorating goddess, Sipper's number one enemy, the kid core expert, the crazy train conductor, the build challenges specialist, the ruler of mums, the creator of the cutest island names, and one silly little individual that doesn't know what they're doing, are all gathered to defeat their common enemy. Anyway, hello and welcome to this video. I am Electre and today's video is a bit of a special treat for you guys and that is because this is a collaboration video. Yay! <laughs> I was lucky enough to be asked by some of my favorite Animal Crossing YouTubers to join them for a Bunny Day Easter collab, and even though Bunny Day is a disastrous event and I'm scared Zipper will hunt down and kidnap my family, I am super excited. The people I'm collaborating with are Fleur's Crossing, Honeyland Horizons, Sweet Magnolia Serra, Canada Crossing, Daffodil Place, Crossing Dragon, LA Bills, Mums Crossing, and Tiffy Place. So as you can see, we have a good bunch of lovely people in this collab and I will link all of their channels in the descriptions below. The rules are simple enough, everyone was handed an easter related theme they had to use for their build and we had to use at least one bunny day item. I am super happy we could pick the bunny day items ourselves because most of the bunny day furniture makes me want to cry. I was assigned the theme Spring Garden and at first I was really happy because it sounded simple enough. Some of the other creators got themes such as Easter Parade and Chocolate Factory which sounds crazy. <laughs> I would have had no idea what to do if I got those themes so... <laughs> anyway, turns out this build wasn't actually as easy as I thought it would be. Basically, the theme of this whole video is going to be me not understanding how to place down pots. This video took way longer than I want to admit to record because my brain apparently stopped working when I tried to do this. I was also being very stubborn and I didn't want to download any new custom designs. And since my current island theme is an abandoned ghost town, well, they don't exactly match the spring car aesthetic. That is so surprising, I know! <laughs> I wanted to place down a house, so that is what all of the corner pieces are for. Ignore the rest of the brick pot thing, it'll be gone soon. Since I was making a spring court garden, I wanted to make some dirt patches that I would turn into flower beds. I couldn't really decide at first which colors I wanted them to be. I first tried with the light dirt, then I tried doing a mix of dark and light dirt. But eventually, I decided to just use the dark dirt after all. Uh, what a waste of time. <laughs> I used Harv's fence, or whatever it's called, to fence the flowers, I guess. And I also left in some spaces for trees and bushes. Then we get into the more spicy and slightly confusing part of the video, where I start questioning all of my life decisions. I didn't plan to use all of the space in this canyon I'd made, it was just the most convenient place for me to build, but for some reason the giant space really stressed me out, and how did I solve that? By making a train track? Um, um, yeah, I'm just as confused as you are. Looking back at this, I have no idea of what I was thinking. It's a really cute design, but it doesn't make that much sense to put it in here. I guess I was trying to make a little bit of an urban neighborhood, even though that wasn't successful at all. And then, as we continue into the territory of messy pothing, I tried to use this asphalt design. Was this successful? No. Do you want to see me struggle with this for half an hour? No. Nobody wants that. I tried all types of different shapes here. First, I struggled with the natural overgrown version of it, but eventually I gave up and instead of moving on like a normal person would do, I, however, continued to waste my time trying to make this angular version of this path work, and spoiler alert, it didn't. <laughs> and may God have mercy on your soul. 
this space was simply too small and awkward for this design to work. I'm just so confused of why I did this. All of this was just a major flop and once I realized that, after more than 30 minutes later, I ended up just going with a light dirt pathing. I know my build won't be the best in this collab, but that is okay. At least I can have the funniest video with the most self-deprecating jokes where we can all enjoy my mistakes together. <laughs> Now that the mess with the pothing is finally over, let's get into the decorating part. To turn this into a spring garden, I have three things I want to include, and that is bright colors, match matching furniture, and flowers. When I think about gardens, my mind immediately goes to weird mixes of outdoor chairs and tables. Because when the weather is nice, you want to sit outside and suddenly you get guests over, and suddenly you don't have enough matching garden furniture, so you just grab whatever you see and you sit in the garden together and have a nice time together. Or is that just me? Anyway. I feel like picnic blankets also are very typical for spring gardens, but one of the other creators got that as their team, so I didn't want to snatch their idea. Picnic areas are cute and I was tempted, but I'm not evil, so I contained myself. <laughs> For flowers, I just used the colors I had on my alum because I'm currently stuck at 78 degrees north at a student dorm with terrible internet and I can't trade flowers or items with other players. What a great time to be alive! So I used yellow, orange and green flowers. I think pink ones would also have been super cute here, but I can barely post two videos a month, so does it look like I have time to breed my own flowers? No. Then I did a little time skipping session and I plopped down Daisy's house. I love her and I love her house. It's perfect for a spring garden in my opinion. If only I had finished the Happy Home Paradise DLC, I could have changed the exterior and used whatever furniture I wanted, but we are clearly not at that point yet. <laughs> And since the game so graciously removes all furniture that is close to a building, I had to place down these flower beds again, which by the way are super adorable, I'm very happy I finally get a chance to use them. Then it's just a matter of filling up the area with trees and cute garden items, which is all fun and cool until I had to remind myself that this is a bunny day challenge. So I decided to go with the few items I despise the least. One of them are these balloons, which I guess technically are two different items since they come in two variants. Then I will also use the egg basket and the chocolate bunny. That is four different items in total, which I think is a pretty good deal. I used three more bunny day items than what I had to do for this collab, so please give me some applause. It was a real struggle. But for real, I think these items are a bit cute and they fit very well with the colors of the house, flowers and furniture. So what more is there to ask for? A friend of mine gave me the idea to make a little tea party, so that is what I'm doing here by the messy chairs. I don't really know what people do when they have a proper spring garden during Easter. <laughs> And I know that sounds super silly, but I'm from Norway and here it's very common to celebrate Easter at a cabin, or at least in my family, so when we are there, it is usually a lot of snow and then we go skiing and eat oranges and chocolate in the sun. So I'm very curious to hear how other people celebrate Easter and please let me know in the comments, I would love to hear. Then I'm just finishing up the area with some small items here and there and a lot of weeds and a lot of flowers. And again, I would love it if I had some pink flowers but I don't so we're just gonna go with the green and yellow ones here. <laughs> Lastly, I'm just gonna add this little bunny day chocolate rabbit thingy and then we're pretty much done! Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Here we are walking up to the spring garden, going through this train station situation thingy and all the way up to Daisy's house and I think this turned out really cute. All of the colors are very fresh and they fit well with each other. I absolutely adore how this mismatching chairs and tables tea party thing, whatever happened here, I really like it. <laughs> And I also think this tiny garden has turned out really cute even though I didn't have the exact colors of flowers I wanted. But overall I think this build really got me into the Easter spirit and I really like how it turned out and I hope you liked it too and that it gives you some nice Easter vibes as well.
Thank you so so much for watching and joining me in this messy build. Please check out all of the other lovely creators in this collab and check out their videos. I'm sure their builds are going to be amazing and I'm so excited to see what they have done. They are all honestly so nice people and I'm really grateful I could be a part of this. So please go and give everyone some love and also remember to like this video because I think... <laughs> I think this video deserves some love too. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Go just just press the subs just 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 what? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh god, I lost my train of thought when I'm just struggling to th say normal things. But yeah, just press the subscribe button if you want to subscribe because this we mm, <laughs> This is a fun channel to be around, I swear. Okay, I'm just gonna stop talking before I mess up anything more. Okay, bye!